Hello, I'm Brian Germain and I'm here to talk to you about basic pilot chute kill line maintenance. Some things that you might already know and some things that you might not know yet. So uh, the, the basic structure of a kill line is known to many, perhaps not all. Uh, and so basically uh, rundown is from where the, the hacky sack or handle anchors, we've got this uh, usually spectra line that attaches to that handle and then it goes all the way and attaches to the pilot chute attachment point on the canopy. Now the pilot chute skirt, the attachment point and the uh, bridle itself uh, are all attached to the bag and that bag has a, a retainer line that allows the kill line itself to extend, the entire bridle to extend away from the, the canopy Right, so the bag is going away from you during the deployment after the parachute's out of the bag. And, and so the entire bridle and pilot chute extend away except for the handle. And so it ends up turning the pilot chute inside out. So we've got um, the, the, uh, quite a bit of movement on the system where we go from the basic pilot chute shape where we've got the lines uh, inside the pilot chute that are type 3 webbing. Right? So let's, let's take a closer look at what that is, we've got this webbing that is forming the structure of the pilot chute. So that the shape of the pilot chute comes from this 3 eighths inch type 3. And if it is pulled tight, right, if it's, it's loaded, then the pilot chute will be in its correct shape. And if the, <clears throat> the bag has left, the, ca the canopy has left the bag, and everything travels away, all of this moves up, and now what we've got is a pilot chute that is now dead, right? And so all of this, the bag has moved upward and collapsed the pilot chute. Well, as this happens inside the bridle, this kill line material, like we said, it's, uh, it is spectra. It's a different material than the nylon that forms the, the, the shape of the pilot chute. We call it the, the crown lines, right? That's what these are, the, the tapes. This stuff, this spectra, has a low melting point. As, as I've pointed out uh, in other videos, the downside of this low melting point, this uh, 297 degree uh, Fahrenheit melting point, is that friction causes heat. Heat cause is, causes melting, and that ends up making the line fatter and shorter. Right? So it's not dimensionally stable. Right? And so what happens is over time, the friction will cause this kill line to shorten. And if over time that kill line is shortened sufficiently, the pilot chute will not be its full shape. The pilot chute will actually be partially collapsed, which means it won't have sufficient drag eventually, right? When it gets shortened enough, it won't pull your bag off your back and you'll have a pilot chute in tow. It may uh, be enough to pull the bag off your back, but it'll result in a lazy bag lift and you get line twists out of it. And so some of you are going, ah, that might be why I'm getting line twists all of a sudden, uh, whereas I didn't before. I haven't changed my packing. I haven't changed my line stow method. Um, so it's possible that the shrinkage on this kill line is the culprit. Now, friction is, is something that, uh, that can be avoided to a certain degree if you're clever. And so one of the things that I uh, began experimenting with, well, with good success, is pulling the kill line out and this, this would take a, you know, a little bit of effort here to do it all the way, but imagine I, I get this as far out as I possibly can. And then I take my handy dandy Cypress silicone. And so this is a box that I got in 1997 at the, uh, the symposium. And I keep putting more uh, Cypress silicone gook on, uh, on this pad, which is just, uh, it's a felt which holds the the, the stuff. And so then what you do is you put this around here and just lubricate your kill line, right? Why not? It doesn't seem to be causing any harm. Um, it, some say, well, maybe it'll attract some dirt. Well, if it does, it's going to lubricate that dirt, so it won't really matter. And as long as you do this once in a while, you'll extend the life of your kill line dramatically. And you won't have to take great steps such as replacing your kill line, which is a lot of work, right? I mean, that if you're, if you're clever about the way that you do it, you can cut off this end and then tie the new kill line to the old one and then pull it all the way through and then 
set it where it should be, which is a variable, right? If, it's, if the kill line is too long, it won't collapse your pilot chute fully, and then the pilot chute will spin under canopy, and some of you are going, oh, maybe that's why I have to untwist my bridle on my new rig, because the kill line was too long. Many manufacturers realized uh, that the kill lines were shrinking, and so they make them a little bit too long. And so consequently, the first maybe 100 jumps or so, it's not completely collapsing your pilot chute. So once the, once the pilot chute has drawn in, what you really should see is nothing but net, right? You should only see um, the, the netting, uh, the, the mesh of the pilot chute. And if you, you see a little bit of the pilot chute canopy after it's collapsed, it's grabbing air and most likely asymmetrically and the pilot chute will then spin up, which is annoying, and it does beat up the bridle, but it's mostly just annoying to you. The other thing that can result in that spinning up periodically is, is the kill line just uh, ends up, you know, it's a little bit too much friction, and it doesn't move on some jumps, and so it doesn't actually convert the pilot chute into this dead form, and so this silicone method will help you as well if you've, that, you've got that problem happening from time to time. Just pull out the silicone, and I would suggest doing it on both ends. Of course, you're not going to be able to pull the kill line out completely very easily. And so you just work it from both ends. You pull it out as far as you can. You're going to have to work the bridle a little bit right, to, to get that out. And again, you take your silicone and do it on the other side. And it's a magical secret, isn't it? Right? I mean, this is like it's one of these, uh, you know, things that, that really will change everything, you know, and, and it is true that eventually you will have to replace your kill line, for sure, but if you lubricate it, it won't be, you know, way down the road where, you know, so once in a while when you do a kill line replacement, you realize, wow, this is really sewn in here, this is a lot of work, and you look at it and go, wow, this is, I have to unpick stitches, and I didn't want to have to unpick stitches to do things like that, or I cut it off and I pull the whole thing out, and then I go, oh no, I forgot, so what do you do if you pull your old kill line out? Now you have to reinsert it. Another fantastic magical unicorn tool is the 22 gun cleaner. I'm not a fan of guns, but I do like gun cleaners for this purpose. They have a little eyelet on the end here, and so that allows you to put the new kill line through there, and you can pull it through. So in other words, you would insert this through your whole bridle. You're going to kind of bunch it up on the, on the, uh, uh, the gun cleaner. You put the new line through here, you pull it all the way through, and then you set your length correctly. And if you're not sure about any of this stuff, please consult a rigger. Do, do this kind of thing under the supervision of a rigger. Uh, but once you get it down, it'll really be uh, no problem for you. This is a very easy thing to do um, uh, once you've kind of dialed that all in. So um, I, I urge you all to take a closer look at your kill line so that you don't have pilot shoot and tow malfunctions. They're not very much fun. And uh, if you have any questions at all, you feel, feel free to contact me directly, or you can contact your local rigger if you've got uh, clarifications. Um, the last thought I want to say is when you do uh, collapse your pilot chute, you step on the bag, right? you put the, the bag right on top of the pilot chute attachment point, and then you give it a, a, a tug from the handle. One option for you to get full, get the thing fully cocked is you take the kill line out and cock from the kill line itself, right? And of course, if you have a, a wingsuit bridle, you have, have one foot here and then one foot stepped on the bridle there, and then you can make a big box and cock it that way. And so that's going to allow you to, uh, to cock the thing fully if you pull from the, uh, from the kill line itself. So that is, uh, I think, a very helpful tool. And then the last thing is to make sure you check it. Number one, you give it a pop, right? Make sure it has drag. You look through it, and as you look through the mesh, what you should see is this kill line is loose, and the reinforcing tape, the crown lines that are supposed to form the shape of the pilot chute, are tight as you pull on the handle on the top, right? And you pull on the bridle here. What you should see inside here is a loose kill line right, and a reinforcing tape that is taut, forming the correct shape of the pilot chute for maximum drag, and that's going to increase the chances that you get a parachute over your head. I'm Brian Germain. Thank you very much for joining us.
can do anything. So we made it to uh, the island, this we call uh, Turtle Island. <laughs> well, the reason why is that I'm not dry You're at not all, dry. No, and I'm going to eat, so I want to dry my hands. Yeah. <sighs> you can go, Matthew. See where my foot is going? There's an edge right here. Now let's check this plant. Do you think it's okay to touch that plant? No. You sure? It does look a little poopy, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's not a poison. Yeah. You know, these plants over here, they don't hold on to daddy. You have no vegetable holds, no knee holds, and no daddy <laughs> Watch me. Now well, that plant is poison. So, whoa, we did that right Matthew, do you want to do the climb? He's on doing his own plan. Rocks and water. Water's nice. Rocks are nice. Put them together. Good climbing. Oh! 